Joined now by Mike Young, head coach of Wofford off of an unbeaten SOCON season. Coach, congratulations on that. That earns you a week to just kind of relax. But I always wonder, in this life of routines where you play every couple of days, are there any concerns about being idle for the time as you wait to find out who you'll play? Really, there, there is not. We uh, have a, a week between a couple of games during the season. Uh, we've got you know a routine down uh, here that uh, that we uh, will follow this week in preparation for Saturday's game. We don't know who we're going to play, uh, but uh, we look forward to a week of practice, taking care of our bodies, and going up to uh, Asheville with a really good basketball team. And you've got that, as we well know. You all are ranked 22nd in the AP. You're ranked in the net rankings 14 now. This is heady stuff. Ken Palm rankings 22. I wonder how much you pay attention to all of these different metrics and analytics and ways to measure your team with all the talk about you. Well, we see it. You know, uh, we do pay attention to it uh, somewhat. My basketball team, uh, I'm sure they see it. They hear it on campus. Uh, our campus is, you know, so excited right now about, uh, about Wofford basketball and uh, everything that's going on. But we try to, you know, uh, shelter them, insulate them as best we can. Uh, all that matters is today's practice. The only thing that matters when you get right down to it is our next uh, opportunity, and that's on Saturday. Uh, so that's kind of how we've handled it. I appreciate and understand the, the thought, but I wonder this, Coach. This is, this is uncharted territory, man. Like, it, it, is there some part of it that, that you in your private moments, as you look around at your group and the building you call home, that you allow yourself to enjoy? Because to me, if you don't enjoy right now, I, like, it would seem like that's a mistake just to me. Oh, I'd be, I'd be less than honest with you if I you know, told you we hadn't enjoyed each step of the way. Okay. Uh, Scott, we haven't lost since December 19th. Um, you know, we've lost to North Carolina, Kansas, Mississippi State, and, uh, and Oklahoma. All of those schools were ranked in the top 25 when we, uh, when we played them. Um, we've enjoyed every minute of it, as our team has, and I think that's a big part of it. I saw a great line about if any of your guys on the team talked about seeding or any of this or that, that your seniors would, quote, frost his hind end. Now, I don't want my hind end frosted here, but if you and me are just talking here. No, you don't. Okay, well, I bet I don't. I can tell that. But we're just talking on a TV show about a basketball <laughs> team here. And looking at your rankings, looking at how well you're regarded, I just – I have no doubt that you guys are one of the best teams in the country and is going to be on a line come next Sunday. Can you allow yourself that knowledge and, and, and allow that to counteract the stress of having to win your conference tournament? I, you know, I, I don't know how to treat it any other way. We always go to Asheville with the understanding that we've got to win three games if we're going to advance the NCAA tournament. This is uncharted territory for us. This isn't the ACC, the Big Ten, where the top five, six, seven are going to go. Um, so we'll treat it the same way. I uh, enjoy folks like you saying that, uh, that we're going to be in regardless of what happens, but um, I can't feel that way. Our team will not feel that way. We know we've got to go up and we've got to play well. We've got an opportunity on Saturday and hope to advance. And then, you know, let's see what happens when Selection Sunday rolls around. But we certainly have, you know, a pretty strong case we feel uh, when, uh, when that time comes. I agree. But we had Rick Bird on from Belmont, similar to you, a team we know from the tournament and a team we know is a threat if you make it. And I asked him, what's the stress level you feel about winning your conference? He said, Scott, what's the most stress you can feel? So it, 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 in a sense, you carry that same belief, even given the success you've enjoyed this year. Yeah, I do. Uh, I, I agree with uh, Coach Bird uh, wholeheartedly. We, um, you know, that's a surefire way for us. That's the only way we know that we're going to be uh, a part of that great tournament is to uh, go to Asheville, take care of each day, um, and uh, find a way uh, to get to Monday in what will be a terrific tournament with a bunch of really good teams and hopefully come out the other end as uh, conference champions yet again uh, only then will uh, I feel safe and our team will feel safe.
Given that we, I think, agree that, that you ought to be in regardless, and given that your stated goal, as you just mentioned, is to win, that, that, that takes care of it. As far as it goes to seeding, if we're just looking at what you descri described, the four teams you lost to are, are the power conference teams, and they did beat you. And I know they were closer games than the final score, but they, they ended up all being by double digits. So as the committee tries to take inventory of who you are, on the, on the floor with teams like that, what do you think is a reasonable assessment of, of how you are ought to be regarded? Oh, I, you know, I, I think a, a seven is a, a you know, conceivable uh, number for, uh, for our team, possibly a six if we were lucky enough to go to Asheville and, uh, and win three games. Um, I know this, I've got a really, really good basketball team. A number of guys that can shoot it, we're not gonna beat ourselves. Our turnovers are always down. Um, I've got a post player that's uh, terrific in there, fifth year kid in Cameron Jackson. Um, you know, I hope it is a uh, favorable seed and a seed that, uh, you know, that, uh, that we have uh, earned and worked really hard for. Jackson's great, McGee's great, Hoover's great. I could, I could keep naming guys, but just the, the group you've got, it's a, it's a senior-laden group. They've been together. You've won some magical games over in Carolina. We know about that one. You've had this great year. Whatever ends up being the end for this group this year, wherever the season ends, Mike, how, how, how would you best describe what these young men have meant in a, in a, a distinguished coaching career that you've had? Uh, uh, they've been everything. Um, Scott, winning is hard at any level. I know it. Um, and when you have the opportunity to coach, to coach the team and not worry about uh, anything but that, that's a special team. And I've had that with this bunch. Uh, they're first-class citizens. Uh, they've meant the world of this college community. And I can't begin to tell you how much I've enjoyed coaching them. Well, this time of year we get greedy, don't we? All we want is one more game. And you know you've got at least that this weekend. And then I've got to believe that you've got an NCAA tournament game at a minimum coming up uh, wherever this weekend ends. I appreciate your time. It's been a treat watching your guys play. Uh, and, I, and I wish you all the best uh, here in March. Scott, I appreciate you having me on. I've always enjoyed your work. That's kind. Thank you, sir.